Hi guys. Hi guys, so today we are going to be watching Strange Addictions. Let's go. And I'm addicted to eating sand. I just love the crunch. It's always good on top of food, like a seasoning or something. I've taken a tortilla chip, dipped them in sand, and ate them. And it gave me the chip, the best crunch that I've ever got in my entire life. <coughs> My favorite combination of sand is when I mix it with gum. It's just like mouth water. I'm Justin Jedlicka. I'm 32 years old, and I'm a living doll. Say, massive daddy. I've had 125 procedures, and spent 158 thousand dollars to make me really resemble a doll. And um, chest was first, then moved on to bicep implants, tricep implants, uh, a brow bone shave, and a brow lift. And uh, I started having a couple other nose revisions. They all get a little fuzzy after a while. But uh, at the end, I've had five nose jobs now. The doll really exemplifies sort of the ideal male aesthetic. I eat it when I go to my room, when I'm walking to class. When I'm reading a book, before I go to bed, I put like a peach in my mouth. When I wake up in the morning, there's still pieces, like, in my teeth. It's like leftovers. When I first found out that Bria was eating sand, I was like, oh my gosh, that is crazy, that's nasty. Bria's addiction first developed five years ago, when she accidentally got a mouthful of sand at the beach. She was instantly hooked on the crunch and texture. But Bria's cravings can't be satisfied with just any sand. My favorite sand is actually the sand from the playground or a park. I start by taking a handful. Then I take like the big rocks out. It's natural. It's straight from the earth. It's really good and it's really crunchy. My name's Kyle. I'm 31. I live in Pittsburgh. And I'm addicted to dating older women. Much older women, like 60, 70, 80 year old older women. I love everything about older women. I love the smell, I love the feel, I love the mentality. I love dentures. Women, you know, they can be self conscious about dentures. Ladies, I promise you, telling your man that you have dentures will not turn him off. It'll put a smile on his face, it'll put a smile on his pants. We're on my state website right now, and there's a lady on here named Karen. She absolutely has a look that I'm attracted to. She has a five of hair, she has a great smile, she looks very pretty, very adventurous. So I'm gonna send her email. <laughs> there's a lot of rooms for sexy older women. There's MILF, Saber She's the Tiger. I've also heard Cougar. My favorite term, I'll probably say it would be silver fox, because the silver fox relates back to the platinum hair, and that's what really turns me on. When I was probably about 12 or 13, I used to always watch Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and I always had this idea in my brain, I, I wish that my family could have been this family that was wealthy, and we could fly in private jets, and uh, we could have our own boat, and that was always sort of a wish list. It was <laughs> the dream in my, in my mind. And I ended up sort of emulating what I thought a lot of those wealthy people look like. You know, they all had plastic surgery. And I realized that I had a liking for some more exaggerated features. And this ideal male physique, you know, a little bit more like a doll, like a, like a hero, you know, this like tiny waist and this large upper body. My name is Trina, and I live in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I'm addicted to coffee enemas. For the past two years, Trina hasn't been able to function without her daily coffee enemas, a procedure where liquid is injected into the colon to clean out the lower intestine. Her addiction is so intense, she does up to four every day. I love the way coffee enemas make me feel. I feel like a sense of euphoria. I absolutely would fall apart without them. <sighs> my initial reaction was, my God, that's disgusting. But I tried it, and now I'm addicted to coffee enemas. From the first day I did them, I've pretty much been like, whatever's going on, I'm doing at least two of these a day. I don't care. Once it's all prepped and at the right temperature, put the nozzle into your rectum, 
pull it up in the air. As they raise the bucket, 32 ounces of coffee fills their colon. You'll start to feel pressure growing in your lower intestine, and that's the freaky part. Four times a day, Mike and Trina fill a bucket with coffee. A hose attached to the bottom delivers the liquid to the lower intestine. When I'm craving sand, I lick my finger and then dip it inside of the sand and put it on the back of my teeth and just chew it. I like the fact that it grits on my teeth. It gives it that crunch that you don't get from food. Maria is so dependent on that satisfying crunch, she turns to nail files when her sand supply runs low. It has like sandpaper on it, but it gives me the same crunch. So I put it like on the back of my teeth and just go like this. So I just sent an email to Karen and um, hopefully she responds. Yeah, she's gorgeous. The first time I realized I was this wrecked old woman, I was in sixth grade. There was a really, really sexy teacher, and she was probably about 65. She had the platinum hair, she was top heavy, and she was just... And just lay there and try to relax. I will listen to music, catch up on TV shows, read, check my email, I'll tweet, I even play Sudoku. Timer goes off, yeah, you want to make just a quick transition from floor to toilet seat as quickly as possible. It's going to come flying out of there like a, like a torrent. I do think it is just really kind of gross. Gross. I think it's gross. My name is Evelyn. I'm 27 years old. I live in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and I'm addicted to drinking air freshener. I love air freshener. I love it, absolutely. What I love about drinking air freshener is the taste. There is a million air fresheners out there, but the one that I like is fresh linen. I've tried other scents, but I don't like them. None of them taste like they say they smell. Cinnamon is not cinnamon. Apple crisp is like dirt. I've gotta have fresh linen. I literally crave it. In the last three years, there's not a day where I've not had it. You want to taste it? You should taste it. Come on, come on. My fiance thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> My future wife, Evelyn, loves this bread. I don't understand. I'm pretty sure it's unhealthy because if you look at it, it says flavor. He's kind of my enabler. Is he will go out and shop. He'll get a couple of cans that he thinks that he may need. Evelyn actually wakes up in the middle of the night and she would spray. And then I would wake up and then she'll lay back down and act like she didn't do anything. She sprays in her mouth and then she'll ask me for a kiss. Why don't you spray this in my mouth? Are you gonna stop spraying this in your mouth? We'll negotiate. Love is powerful, I guess, because he'll just drink it to make me happy. Open. Okay. Is that bad? Did that make him drink it? Oh God, I'm poisoning my fiance. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like a, a bar of soap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's nasty. It's disgusting. But she loves it. And I love her. So therefore, I just have to deal with it. So now you have to quit. I said we'll negotiate. We negotiated. Yeah. I do want her to stop. It's like anybody else that has a habit. You can't expect them to break the habit very quickly. When I first started, it was accident, basically. I was walking through my hallway after going to get a cup of crushed ice. There are automatic sprayers that freshen the house. Sprayed as I was walking past. It dusted the rim of my glass. It was a flavor that I liked. There are only two ways that I have my air freshener. One is straight out of the can. The can has to be extremely cold. I make my tongue into a bowl so it'll catch it. Or it has to go over crushed ice. So we just spray it over the ice. And then you just eat it from there. There's a feeling when I eat it, it's a sense of completion. Like I found it, that craving is gone. It's okay now. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I have two boys. One's eight and one is two. I try not to let my kids see me use the air freshener. 
just because I don't want them to obtain that habit as well. And I know it's not good for me. So I don't want them to follow that way. My kids are my all. And if they picked up this habit, that's when I'll stop. <laughs> I work at a furniture store. I use air freshener at work no matter what time. Whether I'm opening the store, closing the store, or finishing up a sale, I will have it there. My employee, Evelyn.